I mean, their work is so complete and so convincing and so funny still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watch them on, I, just the other day, I'm taking a bath, put the iPad up outside it. Very and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just watching the one short film of theirs after another and laughing out loud by myself in the bathtub. Yeah. I mean, there aren't many, there's not a lot of comedy that can do that for me anyway these yeah. days. Yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, their they're, um, they're stuff is timeless. Part of the reason we made this film is to try and uh, bring Lauren Hardy to a, a, a younger generation, perhaps don't know them as well as we do. For me, when I went to see it, I expected it to be, you know, really funny. It's about two classic comedians and it's really poignant and it's it's quite sad at the end. Um, um, maybe I'll start with you, John, about the decision to, to go for that kind of tough period in their life and trying to balance that with the reputation as the funny men. Yeah, well, I think there's a, a level of expectation uh, when you're doing a film about Laurel and Hardy that, that some of it you know that has to be funny but we didn't want to call the film Laurel and Hardy because we, we thought they'd give an audience a wrong expectation of it being an out-and-out -out comedy so therefore called it Stan and Ollie straight away then you, you're thinking it's about the, the off-screen persona but we just felt that um, that period in their life they, they, were, they were really challenged you know financially, health-wise their star had fallen a bit as well uh, and it had all these things that were going to add up to a lot of conflict and with conflict you're obviously going to get drama and that's, that's really why we chose that period and we never wanted to do an out and out biopic either, you know, yeah. we wanted to do something a little bit more, a little bit more interesting. So those were all the reasons uh, that we chose to do this period but I'm, I, I think we made the right decision, you know. And for the two of you as well, I, I presume it's very enjoyable to get that meaty story where you're not just expected to just be on stage doing a caricature, you're really um, exploring what they went through. That well, that's where we had some creative license, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, their movies are so well known, uh, you know, what they sounded like and moved like, and all of that is so well known that, uh, you know, there's no point really in doing a movie mm -hmm. that was just going to recreate that. So we recreated it enough to show you this is what they did for a living, but uh, the wonderful film that John here put together is really an emotional biography of a friendship. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens to be the friendship of two of the greatest comedians who ever lived. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. And at a very sensitive time of their life. Yeah, towards I mean, the, end. We, we, yeah. The, the thing about be, trying to emulate and make um, part, a little part of the film, small part of the film, we do have to look and sound exactly like yeah. the ones that people recognize. And that's fun and hard work. Yeah. But it's, gr it's actually more, uh, it was quite fun to do that and to try and get it right. And I think we did a pretty good job. But, but, the, but the real. Uh, 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 the real joy, actually, is, is, is that diving into their personal lives and, 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 uh, and figuring out who they were. That's the, that's the, that's the real hard work and, and also the real joy of, of the process we went through.